Hello SGD, I just want to share a few sources in regards to Egyptian stone vessels. Um, one of them will be this uh, paper Masters of Stone, Egyptian stone vessel from pre-dynastic times to the Middle Kingdom, uh, W. Arnold Meyer, and what we have is that uh, he is something of an expert in the field with a very uh, comprehensive collection and in this particular catalogue they show and detail the different types of vases where they come from and their age and they go to whenever they've been sourced ethically you know within the law uh, due diligence has been been done you know from well they you know, provide ma uh, maximum amount of provenance of these types of things as well and so we see great photos um, so in regards to precision uh, a lot of now for instance the lug handles being not distanced properly and and from oh, these are lovely these are flasks so i've never seen these before they're not uh, circular they're lo like a flask they're flattened on one side and they're just great information in the different types of and uh, particular ones again from this arnold meyer collection and uh, different types of stone but scroll down a little bit further again um, just from the photos of these you can the impossible machine precision you can just well, discard that with a quick glance no need for fancy machinery uh, but yes this has been done now they're all being numbered and again the details where they come from and so forth and another cool feature about this uh, catalog is that it also gives us a set of terminology to describe the different styles of those. So, you know, beaker, bowl, dish, plate, convex, conical, concave, cylindrical, slender, tall, globular, or squat, but also uh, raised, blunt rim, sharp edged rim, deeply undercut rim. And I'll show you now. So, these are from the, his collection that they've highlighted, but uh, I'll also I'll show you in a moment and, and link as well. He's got an excellent, he's got an archive with excellent collection of all, all the major collections, private and museum collections around the world. But what's really cool is that we have, and they're all, you can cross check them, um, they're all numbered and we have CT scans. Now a CT scan is a pretty good device, uh, pretty accurate and what we see is how they show the profiles and very quickly, very obviously, the imprecision of these is, becomes very apparent and also inconsistencies and deviations from true forms. That's a lovely one, number 16, which is like a bongo drum, you know, two vases stuck together, which would have to have been shaped, you know, without a, a, a drill or a lathe. The insides, yes, but the exteriors, no. And again, just from these CT scans, you know, which is not... Uh, you know, some El Cheapo um, method, you get really good data and um, so what we, the standard of these vases, we have a large provenance collection from a you know, world renowned uh, figure and uh, what we have is the defining feature you could say is in precision, in consistencies, wonderful pieces of art, but this, you know, the newest thing is, uh, you know, laser scan precision vases. So we have this private collector who CT scans these, and they're not fighting. They'd be shouting it from the rooftops, uh, but they, pres yeah. yet we have another collection, which are, you know, un of questionable provenance, let's say, as well, anything, as they describe, impeccable, and yet this small collection has all these precise vases. What are the chances of that, that a supporter of lost ancient technology for years and lost ancient technology for years has been talking about the vases, showing those in the museums and such as these, saying precision, precision, and now all they just like fell from this, like manna from heaven. How did they, isn't that, isn't that a wonderful coincidence? Is it, it, oh, that's just marvellous how, how these things, it's, a, it's nothing short of a minor miracle. Anyways, now, if we go to his collection, Arnold Meyer Archives of Ancient Egypt, and in here he has stone vessel sculpture, figurative amulets. 
go to Stone Vessels. He has from the art market and museum collections. You can go to museum collections and those from Boston, British Museum, Brooklyn, uh, Edinburgh, Petrie, Museum Louvre, Metropolitan, Fitzwilliam, Cairo Museum and Saqqara Imhotep Museum would be another place where um, many of these are collected. And again, just uh, Petrie Museum. see all of those that uh, not only are on display but are also in the catalogue so now we get a better idea of the numbers of you know, how many of these are available. And we go back to the art market collection. Closed forms, open forms, so the open forms like, like dishes but ones that are open at the top go to the closed forms which would be more to those narrow vases so plain jars, slender jars, one handle jugs but lug handled jars this would be more what we see examples such as this which is one of the, is it the OG jar as it's called and well many of these in these private collections let's go back to those uh, some seem to have information in regards to their origin, some do not. And therein lies the rub. But just as a sort so not for sculptures and these other things, this is just an uh, excellent resource as well, so worth including the Arnold Meyer Archives of Ancient Egypt. So uh, just a little bit more cred to this particular guy in these collections and CT scans of these. Uh, private vases where the writers and those who you know, have put some effort into being sure where they come from and that they are in fact original and well it's just um, yeah isn't it wonderful that the supporters of lost ancient technology just happened just happened to find these and they're all you know in this small collection that they had they've got all the perfect ones it's it's almost unbelievable. You know, almost like you know, not to you know, you don't you wouldn't want to be skeptical. No, no, God forbid. And let's not be. Let's keep an open mind. You know, let's not be skeptical that uh, those with a history of faking data and of being very loose with the truth um, just sort of now come come across these. Uh, okay, with that, SGD. Cheers and have a good one.